Hi, it's Dinosaur George answering your questions that are received through my website, dinosaurgeorge.com. If you have a question about paleontology, it doesn't just have to be about dinosaurs. Uh, if you have a question about anything dealing with prehistoric life, go to the website and uh, click on the Ask Dinosaur George page, fill out the form, and send in your question, and uh, I may choose yours to answer uh, online. Okay, let's get started. Chase from Scarsdale, New York wrote and said, uh, what dinosaurs did birds come from because there are so many feathered dinosaurs? Chase, uh, good question. Predatory dinosaurs. That includes dinosaurs like Velociraptor and Tyrannosaurus rex and Allosaurus and Carnotaurus and Ceratosaurus and Abelosaurus. Okay, enough of that. Um, all of the predatory dinosaurs are very closely related to birds. Um, the plant eaters, the herbivores, dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus, they don't really have that many features that makes them as closely related to birds as the predators, the theropods. So the answer is, if it was a predatory dinosaur, then it was very closely related to birds. And of all of the predatory dinosaurs, I believe raptors, and actually the true terminology is dromaeosaurs, uh, those dinosaurs were the most bird-like of all. And uh, dinosaurs like Truodon, Velociraptor, Deinonychus, those guys. Okay, uh, Dakin from Pima, Arizona wrote uh, again and said, I've been a fan of dinosaurs since I was one year old. I've seen every episode of Jurassic Fight Club. Thank you very much. If you haven't seen my show on Jurassic on History Channel, it's Jurassic Fight Club. I hope you get to see it. What makes you hold on to the belief that tyrannosaurs had some bacterium in their mouth like Komodo dragons? And do you think that other dinosaurs like Maposaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Carcharodontosaurus had the same bacterium? Uh, great question, Dakin. I propose that Tyrannosaurus rex, and other people, by the way, have done the same thing. That Tyrannosaurus rex, his tooth design meant that when he bites into a piece of meat, he has little tiny hook-like things on it, serrations. And they're perfectly suited for grabbing and holding on to pieces of meat and blood. And that means that it would have built up in his teeth. So he would have had this rotting, uh, rotting meat and blood on his teeth. That in turn would be the perfect place for bacteria to grow. Now we cannot prove that beyond belief because unfortunately things like that don't fossilize. But by looking closely at their teeth we can see that the serration design is perfectly suited for grabbing and holding on to those little pieces of meat. That's why I think Tyrannosaurus may have had a septic bite, meaning a mouthful of bacteria like a Komodo dragon. Now the other dinosaurs that you mentioned, Maposaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Carcharodontosaurus, when you look at the serrations on their teeth, it's a little different than T-Rex. They don't have the little the little hook, the little curve spot where the blood and meat can rest. Their teeth are sort of more jaggedly up and down. Now, it's certainly possible that little pieces of meat may have been caught within those serrations, but it's not as likely. So what that means to me is that uh, chances are those dinosaurs, uh, the meat didn't build up on the teeth enough to really give them a real infectious bite, but no matter who bit you, you wouldn't want to be bitten by one of these things. So. I don't know if they had it, but I feel at least pretty confident that my idea that Tyrannosaurus had it is, is pretty valid. Good question, buddy. Zach from Mesa, Arizona. Man, you guys from Arizona are pounding me with questions. Uh, Zach uh, in Mesa, by the way, you guys have a great museum out there. I love that museum. It's, it's really cool. Okay. Uh, he says, hey, Dinosaur George, Zach here. I just wanted to thank you again for your advice you have given me over the months. It was great help. I'm finally starting college this month. I'm really excited to start and become a life as a paleontologist. Thanks again, Zach. Zach, congratulations, buddy. Uh, I'm glad that I helped encourage you, but remember, you're the reason why you're gonna be a paleontologist. You are the one that's gonna do the work. You're the one that wanted to do this. I'm proud to have done something to help encourage you, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day um, Zach, uh, well, hopefully I'll be able to refer to you as Dr. Zach someday. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of you. You should be proud of yourself and good luck in your career. And stay in touch with me, man. Let me know how things are progressing. And finally, uh, Chris from Stamford, Connecticut wrote, he said, hi, George, I have a question. Are all dinosaur groups related to birds and reptiles? 
Well, uh, Chris, yeah, in a way they both are. Um, we know that dinosaurs have relationships with reptiles, and we know that uh, dinosaurs have relationships with birds. So somewhere back in time, there were animals that were sort of part bird, part reptile. Now that doesn't mean there was a snake with wings flying around, I don't mean that, but what I mean is there's certainly animals uh, earlier than dinosaurs that have uh, features that are similar to both uh, mammals and to birds. I mean, I'm sorry, reptiles and to birds. So yeah, I guess you could say all dinosaurs have some relationship to birds and reptiles. All right, uh, that's it for this segment. Uh, thank you for writing. If you have a question, go to my website, dinosaurgeorge.com. Uh, look for the Ask the Dinosaur George page, click on it, fill out the form, and remember, I get thousands of questions and I can't answer all of them, but I try. Uh, while you're on the website, uh, make sure to check out Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter or you can follow me on Facebook. I keep everybody updated on all the things going on, so check that out. And also remember to sign up to get on our free uh, monthly newsletter. Uh, we do not share that information with anybody. That newsletter is, or the ma mailing list is confidential. Um, so get on there and sign up. Have a good time. Have a great day. Thank you guys for writing me, and I look forward to hearing from, uh, from you all again soon. Take care.